What's happening everyone? It's Nicole here and this week on Our Life in Film is Draw My Life Week. So you now get the privilege of witnessing my amazing artistic abilities. So let go. So it all started on a cold as balls evening on March 6th, 1995 in Cleveland, Ohio and boom baby I was born. Um, I was the second of two kids to my parents. My older sister is Sam and she's two years older than I am. And apparently, if I was a boy, I would have been named Steven. Fun fact. Another fun fact that we actually have on film, uh, when I was in the hospital still, I was being fed, and I started choking on formula and stopped breathing. So, yeah, that was a fun experience, I guess. So I was alive for about 18 months before my first major injury. Um, at said age, my sister and I were in the kitchen, and my parents were in the room next door. And what I think happened was that my sister knocked over my bottle that I was reaching for, and made me slip and break my leg, but nobody was in the room that was old enough to vouch for that, so it still remains a mystery to this day. Either way, I broke my femur, and I was in a fabulous body cast for a long ass time, and I had to relearn how to walk, which was great. Eventually, I grew up a bit and evolved like a Pokemon to the age where I could start school. Dun dun dun! I pretty much was friends with everyone in my class in elementary school because, let's face it, everyone loves everybody at that age. Um, I had my best friends like Grace, Ashley, and Eric, and then there was this kid named Eric Bird, who was pretty much my six-year-old stalker and was creepy and always had boogers hanging out of his nose, and he had this big crush on me and I'd basically get chased around the playground by him because I wanted nothing to do with him, and he was pretty much the cootie king. When I was six or seven, somewhere around there, I got to go live the dream and go to da -da 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 Disney World. And I mean, obviously, I would have had a good time, right? Eh, kind of. Basically, the first day we were there, I absolutely shit my pants. Um, we started in Animal Kingdom, and little six-year-old me was terrified of the bugs crawling under your seats in the bug's life, and the dinosaurs chasing us on the dinosaur ride, because I all thought they were real. Um, so much so, that I hid under the safety bars on half the rides because I was so scared, and any picture that we took from there, you cannot see me on the rides because I am underneath the seats. But after the first day, we hit up all the other parks, like Magic Kingdom, and that was all the princesses, and yay! And it was a ton of fun. Um, we went back again when I was 12, and it was a hell of a lot less terrifying because I kind of understood what was going on then. After fourth grade, my family and I packed our bags and moved halfway across the country to Colorado Springs, Colorado, because my dad got transferred for his job at Progressive. Um, it was really sad leaving all my friends behind, but I love it to bits out here. Once we moved, my sister and I stormed the neighborhood on our fly as hell razor scooters and befriended some of the other neighborhood kids just so we weren't total losers. But I still had one more year of elementary school left, and I was the new kid in the last year. So I was still a big fat loser with no friends. And then began the dreaded middle school years, aka three years of awkward. As per the norm, middle school basically sucked and was full of awkward situations, rejections, and not really knowing who I was or what I liked. It was also that time when the people in elementary school who were pretty neat became total ass butts. However, even though those three years sucked, without them I never would have met my three best friends, Emma, Sasha, and Corinne. Then high school came around, and I finally found somewhere where I kind of belonged. Sophomore year, Corinne brought me into theater by asking me to assistant stage manage with her, and I had no idea what I was getting myself into. A whole new world was opened up, and I was welcomed into the theater family with pretty much open arms. Everyone was really nice. I kept stage managing up to the end of my high school career, and I made some amazing friends and basically developed a second family along the way, and they are some of the best people I've ever met. High school ended and I graduated May 23rd of 2013 with honors because I'm a badass. This summer is my last summer before college and I've been trying to make the most of it. It's only July and I've already had a ton of fun experiences from going to an amusement park with my theater family, to taking Emma to the circus, to confront her fear of clowns, to meeting hot dudes at the Renaissance Festival, who knew, right? To riding in a freaking hot air balloon. The second half of my summer is going to be even more epic with Sasha coming into town in 13 days, which is really soon because I've been counting down since 400, and going to see One Direction live and in concert. I plan on living it up before heading off to CSU in the fall and starting a whole new life. And last, but definitely not least, YouTube. It's been a crazy ride with YouTube in the several years I've been doing it. I think I started in 8th grade? I've had a bunch of different channels that I've done and then deleted it and then made a new one and deleted it. And I plan to keep going and see where it takes me. 
with my own channel and here on Olaf, I plan to make some wicked awesome memories out of this weird ass video website and hopefully in the next few years get to go to some pretty neato places like VidCon and Playlist Live because there's so many people I want to meet and thank and take pictures with. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, Nicole Bowers Draw My Life. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel for a new video every day and a new theme every week. And <clears throat> also maybe tweet O2L to check it out since they're kind of our inspiration for the whole thing. What? Alright guys, I will see you next week with a new video and a new theme. Stay classy, stay beautiful, and stay awesome, and I will catch y'all later. Peace out.